Okay, welcome back to this little surprise bonus video. I don't usually post twice in a week, but I had such a good breakfast run on Plate Up that I just wanted to talk about like cool automation. So in this run, I've got breakfast, uh, which is toast with beans. And then I also have carrot soup as a starter and coffee as a dessert. So in the morning, I get all the soups ready. I unfortunately don't have soup automated. I really tried before I failed on this run, uh, just a couple days after this, uh, which was on overtime day seven. But I do have the dishes completely automated, including uh, moving dirty dishes from the table. So you can see I have this big L shape of tables. And in order to deliver food, I just drop all the dishes onto the conveyor belt. They go around until they meet the person, uh, basically the first person who ordered it. And then the only problem with this is if it does reach the end um, without someone picking it up, which it sometimes does because I do have the change their orders card selected on this one, um, I just have to go pick it up off the end or it will block up the dish section. Uh, but now we have a dish coming down the line so we could see it goes through all the tables it doesn't hurt anything by passing over the customer tables as long as they're already sitting down i have a soaking sink which automatically washes it it takes a pretty long time but i found that um it's it's still more efficient than if i go wash the dishes by hand that was taking quite a long time uh, I have a bunch of coffee tables. They get stuck sometimes as they're walking around and every once in a while they'll walk right through the middle of the kitchen, which I hate. I should probably block one of the doors off. Um, but this system was just a delight. Like I knew the run would end eventually and I was so sad when it did just because I wanted to keep playing with this fun conveyor belt system. Um, Getting them their coffee really was the most important part in succeeding on these runs because that's what actually makes them leave. And sometimes it does take a while for the dishes to traverse the conveyor belt. So I had to make sure I was getting those coffees on there as soon as possible. I did try to automate the coffee as well with maybe a prep station, but uh, unfortunately I couldn't get a second coffee maker. I'm not sure. Um, how you do that. I assume it comes up in the roulette, but I, I'm not sure if I've ever seen one. So this is kind of the gist of my, my setup here. I'm so happy with it. I also have a good amount of the toast prep automated. Um, so I make the loaves of bread manually, and then once the loaves of bread are out, I put them on the counter next to the portioner. They get automatically portioned and sent onto the safety hob. And then the safety hob is just there so that it doesn't burn. Um, and I try to pick the toast up off of the safety hob so more can enter the system uh, as I'm doing other things. But, you know, it's just there's a lot going on. If I wanted to improve this system, I would have definitely wanted a portioner for the carrot soup and possibly a prep station so that I could prepare a lot of soup in advance. I don't know if this is intended, but it does seem like every single customer wants soup. I think the the way that it's phrased, I think it says customers can order carrot soup as a starter, but I do think it happens for every single customer. So whether that's intended or not, I don't know. I don't personally think it makes sense for every single customer to want soup, um, but you know, it's not my game. It's not my game, I just play it. So uh, I did try, before I failed my run, I did try to get some some of the soup automated. I didn't quite make it. But as far as I can tell, and let me know if you know how to do this because I I would love you forever. Um, as far as I can tell, I you can't automate the beans. I tried with the combiner next to the bean bucket there. Um, but putting an empty pot on the combiner didn't seem to do anything. Um, so I'm not really sure 
how you would automate the beans. Maybe that's a bug? I don't know if that's a bug or not, but it doesn't seem like there's a way to automatically refill the pot with beans. And it's kind of a bummer, because that would be something really nice to just have. Um, yeah. I don't have much else to say about this, just that it was it was a blast. And this is what I really like about this game, is that each run is a little bit different. Like most runs, I do not have the resources to do something like this. And I have to get creative, and I have to do something else. Um, but you can see in the little room there, I have a copier and the researcher. So what I did first was not upgrade the grabber. So what you you need for this to work is you need a lot of grabbers that are not smart grabbers uh, because otherwise they will only grab certain things off of the tables. So you want dumb grabbers and then they'll just pass everything along. The customers will pick up things from uh, from conveyor belts next to their table so you don't even need to bring it directly onto their table, they pick it up right before it gets there when it's adjacent. So that's another thing you could play with if you want to do some table automation like this. I wonder if I got... I wonder if I got the achievement for not interacting with customers. That would be... that would be fun. I didn't, I didn't see it pop up, but there is an achievement for like ending a day without interacting with any customers directly. I don't know if this counts, if the ordering terminal counts as, as a direct interaction, but if, if I was going to get that achievement, a system like this would be how I do it. That's basically it. I love this. The breakfast might be my favorite dish. I just think it's a lot of fun. The tomatoes and mushrooms kind of make it impossible for me because you cannot automate the tomatoes. They just turn into sauce. I'm hoping for a fix to that as well just because it's a little bit annoying to have certain things that are literally impossible to automate. But in general, I just had a lot of fun with this run and I wanted to tell someone about it. So here it is. Enjoy. I'm going to let this run till the end of the day. And then that's going to be it for the video. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Sorry if you don't like Play-Doh. Uh, I'm sure the addiction will fade eventually. But uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this or game dev vlogs or other things that I do. And I'll be back soon with another video and I hope to see you there. Bye bye!